Uh, AJ, just what happened on the final play? What was the design, and where did you find yourself when Tiffany threw the shot up? I mean, uh, hold on, let me think about it. I gotta think about it. <laughs> I gather myself. <laughs> a play, we kind of drove a play, and it, we kind of went away from it because it wasn't there. So we kind of we had to counteract to it. And I just saw Tiffany kind of get the ball, and uh, she attacked the basket. I mean, that's what you're supposed to do, times running out attacking. And, you know, things that we emphasize the most is rebounding. So I knew that whatever shot went up, and Coach Boyd was just like, we got a rebound. So I knew whatever shot went up, I got to go in and crash the board. So I went in, um, she missed it, and just <laughs> it just kind of fell in my hands, and I put it up there. Brian? Uh, for Elisa, it seemed like a very physical game, really through the first 30 <clears throat> minutes, but neither team was making shots. How much did that affect y'all's decision making out there on the floor? Um, you know, we just knew we had to play through it. Um, you know, like you said, it, it was a physical game. Um, you know, you're, you're dealing with the a taller team than us, which, is, you know, that doesn't really happen often. So uh, we just kept emphasizing driving to the basket, you know, get a shot up there, um, rebound. You know, don't worry about it if you get your shot blocked. I um, mean, we wanted to stick to those points of emphasis, um, no matter, you know, how physical the game got. And I, I think when we stuck to that, that opened up a lot of other things. Um, you know, opened up the lid for, for Asia Dozier to hit a couple of threes. We were able to get some driving kicks. So, uh, you know, we, we we just knew we had to keep, keep sticking to our game plan, and I think it definitely helped in the long run. Matt? Lisa, it kind of seemed like a home game at times for y'all with the crowd. Were you surprised you brought some of your fans? Um, you know, our, our, we have a, a great fan base. My children, we have the best fans in the nation. Um, and we were stretching and we saw them walk in and they just kept coming and coming and coming. And we were looking like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, you know, we didn't realize how many fans were, were going to be there, but I, I definitely think it, it gave us extra motivation, um, you know, when we went into our slumps. They were there to pick us up. Um, you know, we were playing well down the down the stretch of the game. You know, they they kept up the emotion for us. So, you know, we have some great fans who were willing to you know take that three and a half hour trip to come see us play. And I definitely think it gave us you know a type of advantage even on their home court. David. And Dawn, just uh, on that last play, what was it originally supposed to be, and then what did you kind of see uh, what it turned into? Oh uh, well, it was just a you know a high pick and roll. You know, we wanted Tiffany Mitchell to create uh, something off of a ball screen. Um, obviously, it took that away, and you know Tiffany and Tiff created the shot. You know that's why you know we put the ball in her hands. If you know the play breaks down, she can find a way to get to the to the rim, and she did that. And you know, fortunately for us, we got you know someone like Asia Wilson to you know rebound the ball and put it back in. In the back corner, Liz. Uh, Don, it's, it's obviously a testament to Tiffany Mitchell that she struggled in this game like she really hadn't struggled all year. So what do you attest the problem she was having in this game, especially kind of a lack of aggressiveness and looking for her own shot? And what, is it, what does it say about her that despite all that, that she put it away and hit that huge three toward the end of the game? Well, I mean, you know, Tiffany is, is, is just that. You know, she's got a lot of resolve. I, I thought she exhausted herself on the defensive end. She did a tremendous job, you know, on Greenwell, just making her work for, you know, for a lot of catches and making her work for every shot, you know, that she took. And she's probably spent a lot of energy on that side of the ball. Um, so it took away from, you know, what she usually gives us from an offensive standpoint. But, you know, I didn't hesitate as, in, as to who we wanted the ball um, at the end of the game in her hands. And she definitely made a play for us, and she created that. You know, she sucked the defense in to give Asia and all of our other, you know, players that were down there an opportunity to to get a rebound and a putback. Brian. Olivia Gaines is listed as one minute play. Can you talk about putting her in on the press scenario? Your, your strategy? Just just like I didn't hesitate to put the ball in Tiffany Mitchell's hands, we didn't hesitate, and we'll call a timeout to get to get Olivia Gaines in the game because she makes things happen. From a de defensive standpoint, you know her energy. You know she's a one woman press herself. So we say, you know, go get go get the ball. Oh, she finds a way to get the ball, and she did that for us today. Um, and then Asia Dozier, you know she's uh she's she's just solid. You know she's solid. You know we took her out of the starting lineup at the beginning of the year, um, and you know she took it and took it well. And she waited her turn, and you know we figure out we, we're a much better basketball team for her starting the game because she's predictable. We know what we can get from her, um, and she's solid. She's just solid on both sides of the ball.